Hey everyone, welcome to Everyday Reviews. We are in one of my favorite vehicles, the vehicle I've been trying to convince my wife to buy for a couple of years, and that is the new Ford F-150 Lightning. We just took it on a road trip. Uh, it's a great family vehicle, so much utility, especially that mega power frunk is just it's a game changer in my opinion but not only does it have so much utility the performance man oh man this thing will do zero to 60 in just four seconds you have 580 horsepower uh 310 miles or 500 kilometers of range and you have a huge 130 watt kilowatt hour battery but we're not here to talk about the f-150 today we are here to tell you about how to charge that big huge battery in this pickup truck and there's a new New charger on the market it's called the shock flow g1 and not only will it cover all of your ev charging needs but it'll do it at home or on the road so let's go so as you can see the shock flow g1 is a very compact charger they call it a two-in-one you can leave it at home it comes with an included uh, cradle for the charger itself or you can actually just have it hanging from your plug super easy to use you have a nice 20 foot rubber cord you have that standard j1772 plug that'll work for all evs if you are using a tesla you can get an adapter for that uh, so uh, out of the box it's pretty simple right there you plug it into your 240 volt which is your nema 1450 and on it comes and the display will give you all the pertinent information now here's what i love about this shock flow is that you can adjust your output and sure other chargers you can do that as well but some of them you know you actually have to open up the charger you have to actually flip dip switches and things it is not a convenient thing it's something that you might do it once and then you're just going to leave it but the beauty of this portable charger is and we actually were able to use it is if you have a secondary a residence or a cottage or maybe an RV park that you're you're going to if you're going camping or something like that you can go and take your charger with it and you can adjust the output depending on the circumstance or the panel that you're plugging into for example our panel at home is pretty loaded up so I have a 40 amp breaker for our EV charging and at 40 amps you should use a 32 amp output if you put a 50 amp breaker if you have a 50 amp you can actually go up to 40 uh, amps and that's going to give you quite a bit more output and to do it all you have to do is press that button you just cycle through 32 amps is going to give you 7.6 kilowatts where when you go 40 amps you're going to go for 9.6 uh, so if you have the ability to go 40 amps I would go for that because it's just that much quicker especially if you have a large 131 kilowatt hour battery like in the f-150 lightning extended range that we have right here it's a big battery also another great reason to be able to adjust it and to have it portable is maybe you're renting right now you don't own your house and if you move into another place and they have the 1450 plug but they have a higher amperage you can actually set it higher the shock flow has an IP67 rating, which means that it is dustproof, shockproof, and it is waterproof, unless you're going to submerge it for more than 30 minutes. Um, yeah, that should cover all of your needs. So if you have an outdoor plug and want to use this outdoor, no problem, just plug it in. That easy. There are a lot of safeguards built into the shock flow, for instance, temperature wise if you get over 55 degrees celsius it'll throttle back the output just to minimize the temperature and that's going to help the longevity of your unit as well if it gets over 80 degrees celsius it will automatically shut down and once again that's to protect the unit also for safety wise for yourself as well I love the simplicity of this shock flow. You don't need an app or anything to see everything. It's right there. You have two buttons, one for your output, and then the bottom one is for delay. If you want to delay your charging and uh, to get off-peak hours, maybe because it's cheaper for electricity, you just 
Hit that button and it'll adjust how many hours it's going to delay before it turns on. It can't be any more simple than that. It's 6 p.m. right now. I want to start charging after midnight. I'm going to hit it six times when it says six hours done. It's going to turn on by itself and it's going to stop when it's fully charged. So, so easy. So that's it for our look at the brand new portable two-in-one Shockflow G1 EV charger. If you want any more information on this, I will leave a link in the video description. Also, if you have any questions about this charger or any other EV related questions or car questions, leave a comment below. Until then, safe charging. See ya.